Welcome back to the channel. I'm FMP Pino and this is The Journeyman. It's episode 34 today and it's just one big game after another at the moment and this game is just as big, no exception, because today we are away in the lion's den. The lion being our fierce, fierce rivals, Red Star. One of the fiercest rivals in world football, if not the fiercest, but it's a huge game. It's going to be pyro everywhere. There's going to be fire. There's going to be smoke. There's probably going to be a little bit of fighting. But that's Serbian football. That's their culture. We leave, we leave that to leave that to them over there. But no, today it's a massive game. Before we get into it, let's just go and update you on what's been happening off camera. So last episode, unfortunately, we were knocked out of the Champions League. And um, we have been put into the Europa League. I put a little update of the uh, the group that we're in on Twitter. But if you haven't seen that so far, we have in it Young Boys, Galatasaray and CSK Moscow. Pretty pretty tough, I think. I don't know. You don't know what these teams are like at the moment in year 2024. I don't know whether they're still as good as they were or whether they've gone down. But yeah, we had one game in um, away at Young Boys and look at this. Absolute heartbreak. 94th minute they scored. We had a few chances ourselves as well to win the game. It was very end-to-end. -end. Could have gone could have gone either way, to be honest. And unfortunately, they nicked it right at the end. That's why we're currently sitting fourth in the group. Uh, the other fixture was Galatasaray and CSK Moscow. They drew 0-0 um, in Russia. So that draw probably helps us a little bit. You know, no teams have kind of got too far away from us. Still, still very early days, one game in. But yeah. Keep our eyes on on that for uh, for next game because we've got CSK Moscow and Galatasaray still to play. Uh, in the league, we had uh, a game against Radnuk Surdulika. 2-1 there. Goals from Stoikic and Dragan. And then they got a goal in the 61st minute. And we just held on fairly comfortably for that one in the end. We then went on to away at Kukaric, Stankom. And two goals for the main man, big Romanian Zlatan. Um, <laughs> Estrati, he scored in the 80th minute and the 82nd. So we left it late, but got the goals in the end. Uh, Milosevic got sent off, unfortunately, two yellow cards, but he was uh, he's not really a starter every game, so it wasn't too much of a loss. Obviously, had the 1-0 loss to Young Boys. Then we had another league game against Proletova, Novi Sad. Two goals from Esteban Gonzalez, who is our little Spaniard, little Spanish magician. It's just before today's game against Red Star, we've got a we had a cup game, the first round against Temnich, three goals there, two zero. Estrati got two again, Stoikic with one. Estrati is absolutely killing it for us in all competitions. He has seven games, starting eight subs, fifteen goals, a seven point nine one average rating. Just to put that into a little bit of context for you, he has scored a goal. Every 53 minutes, he's been on the pitch. Whoa, this guy, he's special. He is definitely special. He's hes not really very good, like, build-up play-wise and, like, with the ball, but he's six foot six and he gets on the end of things. So he's good to have in the team. But today, it's Red Star. Oh, the big, one of the, you know what? One of the biggest games of our season, this, away at their place. We want to we turn them over on their own. Their own patch. Uh, both teams were undefeated. Could see that finish today. One of those end. Um, hopefully it's not ours. They are on 23 points. We're on 25. So win for them takes them above us. And let's just have a little quick look at their team pre-match. You'll uh, you'll recognise one one lad that they've got. Where is he? Aaron Ramsey. So they got Aaron Ramsey in. You know, 33. Still all right. I, I would have him in our team. Very good mental, still got decent technicals. Physicals letting down a little bit, but not, not, not too bad. Um, I have noticed something. They do have quite a weak left side. Uh, so today we are going to be focusing our play down the right, as uh, shown on our tactics here. So hopefully Stoikic can do a bit of damage. We've also moved Teki to an anchor man just because we're away from home. We don't want to... Give them too much space in, in this area. I think they play with an attacking midfielder as well, so it'd be good to have a techie on, on their man. Mizela Savic is in as a Mazella, not a mezzanine this time, because just as an attack to get in this sort of area. So, because obviously we're focusing play down the right, let's see if we can get a bit of a, a two on one or 
know, just outnumber them on this right side and get some good chances in coming in from there. But yeah, that's the that's the master plan anyway. We've got Dragon up front, Gonzalez on the left, Stupa, Milosevic, Ateki, Gerja wing back on the left. Nastasic is a ball playing defender this time. I think he'd do well doing that. Vukasic next to him, of course, and Djokovic on right. And Mitrushikin, who's still not impressed me too much as sweeper keeper. Right, that is the team. That's the tactics. We're going to go start as balance just to just to feel the game out a little bit. Huge game. Let's uh, let's go see if we can do it for the uh, for the Grabari. If you didn't know the Grabari are the name of the what the fans are called at Partizan, and uh, that actually translates to grave digger. So we are we are the grave diggers. Very friendly, very friendly club here at Partizan. But today's not about being friendly. We we just wanna we just wanna get stuck into these and you know win the game. It's raining. Slippy, slippy pitch out there. Could suit us if we can zip it about a little bit. Oh, it's it's a big game. We could really ooh, we could really get um get away from them here with a win. I'll show you why I've kind of focused play down the right. So he's fast. They've got a young um Serbian left back. Very quick. He is like half decent. Good good like physicals and half decent mentals, but technically not great. Marking eight, positioning nine. Hopefully, I'm thinking if we can overload that sign he, side, he will lose a few people or make a few mistakes and we can capitalize on that. They've got fairly good striker. Zek on the left, Farkas, Santos. Yeah, they've got some attacking threat, but we, we have as well. Ooh, an early injury. So Zeka, we just looked at, has gone off. They've had to bring on Simic, who is bang average. So that's good. Good for us. Come on. Here we go. First set piece of the game in front of the Partizan fans, and it's terrible. The Grabari. <laughs> they don't normally look as friendly as that, I'll tell you that. Just, just clapping away normally. <laughs> There's definitely be some sort of hand signals or flares going on with a corner like that. But they're still going from that corner. This is dangerous. We don't like to see a highlight straight after one of ours. Oh, they've kept it in to the edge. Oh, what a block by Jan. Jan Ateki, but they've got it back out. Oh, okay. Good defending. We like to see. But they've got a corner. Another one for us to, to defend here. And, you know, Santos to deliver. And it's not a great ball, headed away comfortably by Nastasic. We just need to win the ball back here. We've committed a few men. Okay. Right, steady the ship. Here we go. Another chance in front of the Grabari faithful. It's whipped in to no one. Oh, and they're countering. You know Santa's on the counter. Can Ateki get back at him? Oh, no, he can't. He's been absolutely paced. And Nuno Santos has gone all the way. Wow. Not great defending. He is a good player, though. A lot better than our wingers, really. Hopefully, I'm thinking that's what Gonzalez can kind of aspire to be like. But no, he's brought it all the way from inside there and half. A techie is. He's not known for his pace. <laughs> and it's been absolutely shown there. But surely one of the center halves could have come across and helped him out there. Ah, shame it's come from one of our attacks. But there's promising signs with the ball. But we've not had a shot. We're just having our usual possession football without any any real bite. Stoikic bringing it into the middle of the park. Is it to Stupar? Stupar out to Gonzalez. Here's our little nifty nifty winger. Stupar back. We're just just controlling it in the middle here. We don't want to lose it. They're defending. Pretty deep and pretty well, to be honest. They've got men in front of the ball. We're struggling to find a way through here. Nastasic, can he beat the press? He has done into Gerja. Gonzalez gets the ball in. Dragan! Ah, it's not his strong point. Heading the ball. That's where you need Estrati, really. Okay, let's give him a little bit of a get creative. Just to see if we can get some uh, some chances off. Gerger up to Gonzalez. Gonzalez had a good start. He's cut inside. Lovely ball into Dragan. Ooh, good football. That's better. Um, got a corner. Whipped in to nobody. Vukasic, center half. Back to Stoikic. Mm, you, you don't really want your center half on the edge of the box there, do you? Okay. 
It's a strange game so far. Oh, Djokovic. The young lads are having a tough time. They whipped it in. It's turned. Oh my God, he's buried it. Ooh, okay. It's a bit of a sucker punch. That's such a... Our defence is, our defense is pretty terrible. <laughs> I didn't realise how bad it was till I've come up against some better opposition. It's a good finish though, to be fair, but... Uh, let's get to half time and see what we can do here. Okay, we've had 71% possession to 29. They've... Tactically, I think they've got it spot on, really. We're going to make some changes and it's going to be attacking the field are coming on in the form of Ivanovic. Just we need to get some more chances created. Get a techie back as a ball winning. Uh, deep line playmaker Milosevic. And I think we'll just do that for now. At some point, I think we are going to bring on Strati, the saviour. Surely he can't save us again. And we're going to go positive. Hoping that that fixes up. Dragon, you know what? Disenchanted, 6.3, you're coming off. And with Estrati on, I think we take off work ball and spots. We don't mind crossing it in for him. And we'll have him, yeah, as target man attack. Okay. Come on, Estrati, the saviour. Oh, it's a set piece to them. See what we can do. Oh, he scares me. What's he, oh, why does he do this every time? Okay, he's finally booted one up to Estrati. Heads it down to oh, no one. He's got no support. He won it, but there was no one there to pick up the pieces. And Djokovic at right back is having a shocker today. The young 19 year old. Oh, we're just. They look hungry. Oh my God, he's been done. Oh, Djokovic. He's been so good for us all season. Today, like, he's on the up. He's looking good. He's on a 7.13, 7.15 in all competitions. I know he's not the best in the world, but he's 18. And I've got high hopes for him. <laughs> but. Today, the pressure of playing in front of this Red Star crowd has got to him. Okay, we're taking off. Focus down the right. They've obviously, that's not not caused any problems at all. Doesn't help that Stojkic is having a shocker. Who can we bring on? Ivanovic on the right. Kolic in the middle. Ivanovic got that late goal. I think he's, he's a strange one. Doesn't look great, but he somehow... Manages to get assists and, you know, does does the business at times. So he's coming on. Hopefully gets a goal. Come on, demand more here. Oh, we've been caught in it again, Anastasic. Come on, lads. This <laughs> is it's, it's shocking. Milosevic, great ball out to Ivanovic, the substitute. Can he get a ball in? It's gone to the back stick. Estrati, he's there, the poacher. Oh, he just sits in that six-yard box and just finishes anything. What a guy. He's. I think he's going to have to start starting now. You know, Dragan's dipped off a little bit. And Gonzalez, good header back in. And Estrati's just in the right place at the right time and sticks, sticks a boot on it. And that's given us hope, 2-1. With 15 to play. Come on. This could be a great comeback. They've kicked it strangely out wide to no one. Djokovic needs to have a better last 15 than he's had so far. Got him behind to Strati. He's running those channels. Back to Kolic, the substitute. Penalty. No. Never. Well, let's keep this pressure on. We're, we've penned him in now. Milosevic out to Gerja. Get a ball in for Estrati. Can he dink one in? Oh, it's not felt to anyone. The pressure's coming. It's building. It's going to pop. 
Ah, Ivanovic. <laughs> he had a pop. Ten minutes to salvage something. Five minutes to salvage anything. This could be our last chance. In the Belgrade derby. I don't want to lose the faith of the Grabari already. They'll be coming around my house by the up if I'm not careful. Oh, and they've, they've defended well. Just need to win the ball back here. Oh, they're hitting us on the counter again. Oh, wow. If he'd scored that, I'd have turned my computer off. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're just... This Nuno Santos is ridiculous. Why is he so quick? Oh, we're so slow. Oh, Vukovic did well to tackle him and then decided to just boot it into our own fans. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that could have been a goal for them. I don't know if going very attacking actually does anything, to be honest. <laughs> it's like the magic button hoping it's going to somehow save us. Oh, Ivanovic, why are you trying to dribble past people? That's not your game. Djokovic, get a foot in. Someone get a foot in. You know, the defending is terrible today. I think next transfer window, we need some sort of defender that can actually defend. Oh, Estrati, come on. This is not a strong point. Or is it? What's he doing? Oh, God, he somehow got away with it. Surely not. Oh, we just need it to fall for us. Five, well, four minutes of stoppage time. No! I thought we were going to come back. Ah, it's all over. We've lost the first Belgrade derby and we've lost our first game of the season in the league. Oh, defence was shocking. Full-backs, terrible. Midfield was all right, apparently. I'm not... They controlled the game. 60% possession, didn't do enough going forward. They had Nuno Santos on the break, whose acceleration and pace is 13 and 14, but somehow <laughs> looked like Adama Traore going at our defenders, to be honest, in, in that game. They also had Kasami playing, the player who scored probably the, one of the best volleys in the Premier League from Ful for Fulham. Yeah, let's get off this screen. Not happy. Can't be happy with a loss to your fierce rivals. And that means they also go ahead of us by one point. Apparently I'm enjoying life, not, not enjoying it right at the moment, I'll tell you that. And we have got next... Ooh, what shall I come back for? Might come back for that Galatasaray away leg in the Group League B. We'll have played, yeah, because then we'll have played two, two games in the group, well, three in total, and we'll be on to the second round of fixtures with a away leg against Galatasaray, and that would be a good place to kind of see where we're at for qualifying for the next round. So, yeah, I'll come back for that one. That is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, up to, I think I'm up to 131 subs at the moment. So I appreciate all of you who've uh, supported and subbed to the channel. Like it's um, just really motivates me and, uh, you know, makes me feel really warm inside. So thank, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time for the Galatasaray game.